Hey there, welcome to Mount Scratch. Um, we're just on the way to actually buy another PT Cruiser. Um, this time we're getting a convertible. I noticed that uh, we were lacking one in the fleet here. And uh, I figured if I got a convertible, I could do uh, the convertible specific videos on the top maintenance and repairs and whatnot. Maybe not right away, but we're gonna daily drive it for a while and, uh, and see if we have any issues. It's uh, a turbo car, automatic, higher miles, and uh, I guess you'll see the rest when we get to it. I'll park over there. We are kind of practicing some distance with them. Yeah, six feet, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, I see there is a bolt that holds them on. Shaft sensor and the power steering sensor. And you didn't have. I think we're gonna take it here. I don't see any. How about this, Matt? Are you able to? Yeah, I can, I can repair that. I'm not too worried about it. Okay guys, sitting in the uh, new PT here, the convertible, and uh, pretty happy with it overall. It seems to run really smooth. Um, there's a few issues. There's a power steering leak, and um, it's got a engine light on, and I scanned it, and it's actually got a cold for a um, crank position sensor and a power steering pressure sensor, so again, not a very big deal. Um, one thing I did check the oil and it's uh, a little low on oil so maybe it just hasn't been uh, serviced in a while. These, uh, these engines normally do use a little oil so I'm not too concerned about that. And uh, the oil and the transmission fluid look to be pretty nice and clean and stuff like that. So we'll see. I, uh, I never did test drive it. I uh, just uh, you know threw it in gear in the parking lot and it felt like it grabbed nice and whatnot. So. Uh, Sometimes that's all I do with these cheap cars. We'll uh, find out the rest as we hit the highway here. I already think it has a bad front wheel bearing just uh, driving it across town here a bit. So uh, we'll see. We'll see when we get it out on the highway. I think we did okay for 1200 bucks anyway. These uh, convertibles often sell for around $4,000. So, uh, you know, if we can drive it home for 1200 bucks, we're doing pretty good. A nice shape inside. The interior is pretty clean. Right, Mr. Nash? Yep. Automatic, that's what I want it. And, uh, yeah, it's got 260,000 kilometers, which is, oh, I'll put a caption for how much that is in miles. The uh, windshield's good. Okay, I just noticed that it does have an oil change sticker here, and it's gone about 4,000 kilometers since the oil was changed. So if nobody checked the oil, that would make sense that it was down. Uh, it wasn't quite a liter that it was down, so. Well, we're just pulling out of Cochrane, Alberta. That's where we bought the car, by the way. And uh, yeah, it's got a bit of a no noise in the front end. Definitely sounds like a bad wheel bearing. Got a 
side wheel bearing issue. Should make it home though. Like, this is why you should test drive vehicles, people. Okay, well we're just at our fuel stop here. $45. Well guys, I'm pretty sure it's just a bad wheel bearing. When I uh, when I swerve one way, it uh, quiets down. So that's normally a wheel bearing when it's like that. Oh, that's not good. That would be the cam sensor was jumping there. Okay guys, it's uh, it's acting up actually. I guess it's that uh, cam sensor. God, problems already not a lucky person. Oh my god. We're gonna try fiddling with the wiring on this cam sensor in case that's all it is. speed. If I don't gas it too hard it kind of works. It's like it's in a limp mode. We're just climbing up a hill. It's a problem every time we go into a valley. We had to slow for a bump coming into this valley and now we're just barely making it up the other side. So if I give the car anything more than a feather of gas it just uh, chugs like this. So once we get it up to speed, it's pretty happy, around 100 kilometers an hour. Okay guys, we're about halfway home in the new PT here, and uh, it was, uh, the cam sensor was messing us up. We had uh, scanned it when we bought it and we already knew it had a bad cam sensor, but it was working fine at first and then once we uh, pulled out of town, it started sputtering and I uh, was having trouble making hills. But uh, we just stopped a while ago to use the washroom and when we got back on the road, it's performing perfectly again. So the engine does run really good and uh, this is just a turbo light, it's not a, a GT. So it's only got 180 horsepower. Or it's actually uh, not a bad car, it's, uh, it drives really smooth and everything aside from the bad wheel bearing 
it's a, it's a pretty tight little car. And uh, I've never actually owned a convertible before. This is my first convertible. And I'm really impressed with how quiet it is. We're out here on the highway and there's no wind noise off the top or anything like that, like I thought there would be, so. Uh, It's like the worst I've ever heard. So we're just a, a couple blocks from home. The, the car made it, no problems. I mean, a couple little glitches, but it's a cheap car, so we expect that. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'm enjoying my new car. Uh, have yourself a great day. Stay healthy, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome PT videos.